Welcome back, everybody. Let's play through off the rails with the DS. I can't stop us breaking down because we haven't actually trained any of the mechanics that we have. Like, see, this guy's here. He just doesn't actually know what he's doing. He's just walking around and looking like he actually has, actually has a job. But people are still at max happiness, anyways. Oh, well, hey, mine. I mean, you know, like, kind of like, uh. Are they holding their hands out or not? I can't really tell. I think I was like hey, holding his hands out, walking behind a person in kind of a creepy fashion. Anyways, though, we specifically decided, if I remember right, that we wanted to put a particular right here. I think it was actually further to the. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, hmm. I was gonna. I think I was gonna put the. Octopulse here, wasn't I? It was. Okay, where was I going to put that ship? I mean, we're limited on build space now since I built so much stuff the past couple episodes. I go to the bottom right, I think. That looks like it's an appropriate place. I certainly wish that any other park in this game did what this place did. Where you actually have something other than just like inexplicable cliffs. Um, should we get. I'll have to make this one between the pathways, because there's an opportunity to make something really thematic in chase in basically every single area between those things. Well, this game, this area is the only one that does that for some reason. No oh, action in that room. It's a little awkward. I might put it that way anyways, though. Oh, wait. Is this a 4x4? Four four? If this is a 4x4, four four, I just put it here anyways. I'll take up basically all the space. It's 3x4, so there's not really... It's... Practically speaking, it's basically just a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, building things is kind of awkward in this game with how the stuff is in terms of limited placement options. Okay, I don't know why he told the bird that, but sure. Oh, finally. In that case... I mean, why to put something up here this whole time? Oh, actually, since this is basically 4x4, four four, I could have put the ship here anyways. Since I ended up putting in another 4x4 four four here. Oh well, I guess. That's fine. The ship is still on the coast anyway, it's still in an appropriate place, and this is basically more out on the water anyways, a bit more isolated from everything else, so this is also an appropriate place for this. En route to something else. I have a theme! I've acknowledged it. So if this was a water coaster, oh man, I didn't realize it's just like all built on water, that's awesome. But I'm pretty sure the coaster I already built was a water coaster. Does this place actually ha- Oh no, oh no, people are actually starting to get less happy. Oh dear. This already has a water coaster, right? Yeah. But I'll build a wooden coaster somewhere. But I probably- uh, See, I'll build a wooden coaster and an inverted coaster. Let's make people happy by building a quick wooden coaster here. And then once we finally have the extra large inverted coaster unlocked, we'll build that since I've been wanting that for such a long time. Let's see how much leeway this gives us. I don't think it's actually going to accept what I'm doing right now. Okay. Just make it thrilling everywhere. Since this game doesn't actually really make you concerned yourself at all with what your coasters are actually like. What happened to that at the end there? You guys couldn't really see like the relationship between what my mouse actually did and what shape it produced. But it was not intuitive. Oh no! People are becoming quite unhappy very quickly. Yeah, you got a new coaster. Stop being unhappy. Oh jeez. Sam, but we also have people to challenge first. So we've done our 
non-story things for today. Or we've done our story things for today, I think. I think this is like the follow through a little now. Donkey Derby won't even be fun to cheat on, so I'm not going to do that. I know these are fun to cheat on, but it's be especially not fun to cheat on. Same with Wacko Wombat. Too fast. Well, I could just slow the game down, I guess. But <laughs> this is going to be people becoming very unhappy with Robo. So are the hoops going to be moving or not? Yeah, I figured. Oh, they got pretty good at this last time anyways. When I was playing on slow motion. This ball doesn't go where I feel like I'm throwing it. I was not throwing that to the right in the slightest. Okay, I wasn't throwing that to the left in the slightest either. Okay, so I think it's thrown towards the center. Or maybe like across the center. If you're throwing it from the side. I don't know why that's the case. But it's very bothersome. Yeah, I had to throw that way to the left for it to actually... Man, this is... Come on, stop this. We've actually got thrown to the left. Well, yeah, because I was throwing it to the left from the right. Jeez. Or if you get like a bank shot off the side. Okay, so I still have to cheat at this to win it. Which I might do. I actually just not drop the ball. I can pick it back up if you drop it, apparently. I think the game actually acknowledges any throws he made just before the timer went off. Yeah, though, let's do this the not-quite-so-fun way, I guess. It would be nice to just win this, but... Let's do what we did before. I should have made another save suit after I got that. There we go. It was crazy, though, that the one time... I was throwing these things and making them constantly, and I still, with safe states, and I still was getting a high enough score. You need a seriously perfect game to win that one time, although I don't remember if it was a stream mission or what, whatever it was. I don't know what it takes to beat the high score in a game like that, then. Speaking of which, actually, high scores. It reminds me. A mechanic of this game that we basically ignore completely, in part because I have a really hard time with this game's games, and in part because... Did that not count? That looked like that actually went on. Darn it. And in part because I have a lot of stuff to do, and it doesn't sound especially interesting, is... That whole idea of being high scores and then challenging the people that got the high scores or whatever it was. Okay, we're good. So I was gonna make one more poop, I guess. One more throw. Okay, we're good. Alright. So that should be half of our games, I guess. So I didn't beat the high score then. I did beat the high score just then, actually. So basically what I need to do to beat people, everyone's great at this, great at these games in this area for some reason. You need to beat the high score to beat someone, basically. Which is kind of weird. Why does every single person we challenge have the high score at the game we're playing? I'll see about this one. I was able to beat people earlier. What I'll do? Well, hmm. That didn't work in the slightest. I need to work out the strategy once again. Does the incline on the, of the slope change? I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to pick up the sputter. You're you're timed here. That's the thing. It's not a certain number of putts, so you don't want to take your time with each putt. Well, you lose a ton of time for missed putt anyways. Uh, it's, it's just awkward how this game is so weird with hanging things on the top screen to the top screen from the bottom screen. Everything bends in ways that you don't expect. 
There we go, we're fine. Saying we're fine sounded kind of ominous. Since that tends to preclude not being fine, but no, we're very, very fine here. Nice. Ah. So I think those pink, or as the game's instructions claim, brown balls appear once you get three holes in a row. So you manage to get four in a row, you get a 20 point bonus. Which isn't especially huge, looking back on it, but it helps. Nice. So that's a game that for once I can actually crush the opposition out. Awesome. You guys need to challenge the mimes. It may or may not count. I don't know. I won't risk it. That doesn't quite work out. It's easy. Well, actually, it still takes concentration for me, but it takes effort and is fun on the lower difficulties. But on the higher difficulties, Stunky Derpy does not quite work out for me. Blue Ice wins by a ton, even though I get second. Let's spark a little bit more. Or how long it's going to take for people to be unhappy that none of the rides actually work here? I'm not training those mechanics. We've we've had enough slide puzzles in our lives in this game already. Ah. Come on. Come on. Can we please? Okay, so 15 points is not a lot to be had. Okay. Come on. Oh, I, was, I was trying to hit the red one to the left of that, but okay. I was trying to throw that so much higher. I was trying to hit the green one up top. Throwing is very awkward in this. It's probably pretty, pretty natural with the stylus since you're just flicking. So. And yeah, flick motion is pretty easy. But. Ah! Come on! That was one of my worst rounds of this game. But why are people getting a higher score than they used to? Earlier when I was playing somebody, they would get 110. What's with people always getting high scores when I play them now? There we go, so that's the kind of score I need to be getting on each of these. This music though is nothing like what we heard in the other What was another Spark Island games? If I remember right, the music for the other Sparkle Island games, oh come on. And at least the first three of them, maybe the second two, the music we'd hear there was actually, I think from, if not like remixed, maybe recycled or something, from Treasure Island or something. Something else the developers have done. Okay, so it should be totally good now. Yep, fine. See, I can do well this game sometimes. There we go. Take that. Cel celebratory cracking of the knuckles. Okay, so that's only like five. Hopefully six, but I think like five people beat they need to beat. Six, awesome. Okay, so next episode we will we'll probably just jump straight into being two more people and then losing against two more people or, or one more person or something like that. But in any case, I'll see you guys next time so let's play through of Off the Rails for the DS where after that we'll probably get to finishing the story missions and we'll probably be done like right then if not the episode after. So going to a close of these things quite quickly. In any case, in any case I'll see you guys next time next episode. Bye guys. Let's look for new victims. I choose you.